Both parents came from Nigeria. Uh, there are seven of us. Dad Muslim, mom Christian. So I grew up in that kind of dynamic. During my um, years at San Diego State, and I remember you know, having arguments as a Muslim, you know, I, I claim to be a Muslim, I have an argument with all the Christians on the team. A lot of guys couldn't answer my question, they'll say they'd get back to me. And I was searching uh, for truth, I was searching for something greater than what I was experiencing. Gilbert was something different I'd never seen before. And uh, him and his family just took me under their wings. I used to see uh, how he used to treat his wife, how he treated his kids. And I remember one day he said that we don't worship the same God. Well, it kind of offended me, it took me back a little bit. And, and so I said, okay, well show me where Jesus said he was God or something like that, you know? And I was expecting him to give me the typical, you know, answer like I've gotten in the past. Cause that's what my dad always told me. You said, you ask these Christians these questions and watch how they stumble. Now this guy, he opened his Bible and he's about to show me something I've been asking all these people for. I was just so blown away that this man was prepared to give me an answer for what he believed in. So I went home and I decided to get the Bible for myself. Because all my argument was always what my dad taught me. I remember getting on my knees. I didn't know which God I was praying to, but I wanted to pray to the God who created me. That says God, whoever created Muhammad Kabir Oluwari Waju Bajabia Miller. And I said my whole name to make sure we got it right. And I said, as I read this Bible, help me to find the contradiction so I can show these Christians that where they're in error. I decided to start in the Old Testament. One of my arguments was that man wrote this book. It wasn't God, it wasn't inspired, it was man that wrote the book. So as I was reading through it, I got to chapter six. And in there, there's something he says, uh, every inclination of man the heart is wicked all the time. Then I get into the, to the laws and I start seeing all these things that what not to do. And I'm saying, that's a sin and that's a sin. Literally my sins was multiplying right before my very own eyes. I became aware that the things that the God was saying was a sin, I've already committed. And so I start saying, man, there's no hope. I said, there's no way I'm gonna make it to him paradise. There is no way I can make it on my own. But because of stuff I heard about Jesus, stuff, all of a sudden Jesus started making sense. And as I was reading through scriptures, I saw how perfect and good he was. And I knew that if there's hope, there's hope in Jesus. And so I ran to the cross. And so when I was on this journey of trying to prove the Bible wrong, the Bible ended up proving me wrong. I needed the Old Testament, the laws, to see that, man, if I compare myself to that standard, I fall short. But it's because of His promise through His Son, Jesus Christ, and His blood that that's why I get to go to heaven. So if I'm going to be doing any bragging, I'm going to be bragging about your son and what your son did for me. And all the good stuff I've done is because of what you did for me. It's always about His glory and what He's done. I'm just fortunate and very blessed that I get to be a part of anything that He got good going on.